romance with a zombie, though. It's, uh, it's a little weird, but, you know, he doesn't talk back, which is good for us women. <laughs> um, he's the great listener, and, yeah, and he's very sweet. And it's funny, everything that... Everyone's been talking about the necrophilia thing. Um, and... <laughs> I didn't mention it. <laughs> I knew you were thinking it. I could tell. No, I really wasn't. I'm Charlie Wolfe, and as I lie here, waiting for death's cold embrace, I find myself asking the question, how the fuck did it come to this? I've got something for you if you're interested. I'm listening. How does 50 grand sound? Like a dirty job. I want you to kill my wife. She has a dental appointment at two. Okay. me. Ah, get in the way! Ah, ah. Goodbye, Alice. Bruce, we're good for the money. I just need a little bit more time. We're taking a piss. <laughs> One week. <laughs> you tourist. like that. You've got a crazy way of showing it. God, this place is like a fucking open air insane asylum. Now listen up, gentlemen. One week from today, 0800 hours, your asses better be here. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Dismiss. Where are you going? Going back to CJ. You can't just go back to the States in the middle of the war because you miss your girlfriend. That's how close I came to being a dead man. Now, I got a second chance. Go AWOL and you're done. I'm only AWOL if I don't get back on time. Military fly free. You might have to take the window seat. How's it going, sweetheart? <laughs> take a dinner is out. If you come to look for recruits, I think you've come to the wrong place. Hey there, Janie. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm holding you right now. I cannot believe that Jane has a boyfriend. In Vietnam. Damn. I leave for 10 minutes and I miss everything. Who my lovely lady are you? Uh, I am Candace. Let me guess. You see a couple army guys and you think we're the enemy or something. A couple of days ago, I think we're going to make it out alive. You know, you're the loveliest angel I've ever laid eyes on. <laughs> Did you say the loveliest angel? OK. I was just joking. I hope these people have jobs. Go to work or protest a war. Not a tough decision. Hey, you think I got a chance with Candace? Honestly, no. I was hoping you'd say that. You got any grease for this thing? We have a guy who fixes it. You should fart. <laughs> <laughs> I say I'm good with my hands. I can see that. Someday soon. You should have told me to bring a suit. Well, that would have spoiled the surprise. <laughs> Oh. We got two American soldiers who had the conviction to say we won't stay. Deserters. He'll hang our asses. We're going back tonight. I go back now. You made a commitment. You don't know the meaning of the word. Please don't go. I've never been committed to a damn thing in my whole life. Yeah. Not the war, oh. nothing. Until now.
attention, because I'm about to tell you the secret to life. You ready? The whole damn thing is about choices. Excuse me. Hey, you're my new neighbor, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I'm Travis. What are you so angry about? Your dog knocked up my dog. I take full responsibility. I've talked to him so many times about using protection. Oh, my God. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hey, big brother. Who's that? New neighbor bothering the heck out of me. Uh-oh. What? A chance encounter of circumstance. Can you open my puppies? Oh, the puppies. Yeah, we're all good now. What am I gonna do with all you guys, huh? Thank you, Travis. I think that's the first time you said my name. I like it. Travis, this is Ryan McCarthy, my boyfriend. Hey. Hi. Don't make a thing out of it. I know you. And my big brother does not like it when things don't come easy. I have a confession. My friends like you better than they like me. Afraid that was gonna happen. You are in so much more trouble than I thought. Why do you make it so hard for me to flirt with you? If I made it easy, you wouldn't flirt anymore. What are you doing? Walking towards you real slow. Why? Because if I ran, I'd scare you. I didn't do that. Because you bother me. Don't tell him. We never talked about what this was. It just happened so fast, we got caught up. I love you. Well, I don't love you. Oh, hush, you do too. Mom! Knew it the second you set your eyes on him. Whose side are you on anyway? So come on out, straight them, straight them. Travis, swallow your pride, because that's all any woman wants, is a man who's gonna fight. Where is she? Where's Gabby? She's gone. Where? She left because of you. Like I was saying, every path you take leads to another choice. Come back to me, baby. Come bother me. Some choices could change everything. I should have been there. It's not your fault, Travis. Every moment of the rest of your life hangs on him. Gabby! Matthew, the summer's over. I want to hear your plan. I guess my plan is to keep working at Suncoast Video until I figure out what I want to do with my life. We just think you have such potential. You could be an astronaut. Oh, problem solved. I'll just be an astronaut. You are not going to believe who was just in here. Tori Frederick-King. Don't I know you? It's me, Tori. Matt Franklin. Where do you work? I'm at Goldman Sachs. So, are you going to Kyle Masterson's party tonight? Uh... Amazing! You're gonna trick her into liking you, and then you're gonna be like, it's me! I can't show up in this car. Why not? The Frederick-ing does not roll in a kumquat. Take a ride at these lights up here. We're just gonna borrow it. What's up? Tell him where you're from. Straight out of Compton. A brother with his finger on the trigger. But once I take out, my rep gets bigger. I'm the ruthless killer, and you know this. What do you do anyway? I thought you went to MIT. I work at Suncoast Video. Wow. Congratulations. Straight out of Compton. Let's do this. Mm, occupado. Actually, it's my friend Francis. He wants to watch. It's not negotiable. I'm going to try this. Whatever you do, it's what you're gonna be. And uh, I just don't know what I wanna be yet. Will you marry me? No! Hell yeah! Marriage is a big life decision. Big you life decision? Yeah. At least I'm making stuff. You're so scared you can't choose anything. <laughs> I suck at this. I just hit rock bottom, so don't mind me. Oh, I love this song. I love this song. Do you wanna dance? Why can't you give yourself one night of enjoyment? Just one night? Put a little relish on your hot dog! Tori, there's something I should tell you. Couldn't be worse. It couldn't be any worse. Put your hands in the air! I was wrong. Now it couldn't be any worse. Matthew? Wow, wrong again. Home tonight. Well, Kate it was so beautiful in real life. I'm a really big fan of yours. That's funny, I'm a big fan of yours too. Let's get married then. Yeah. 
Tony called out. See ya, Chen. Mm. and her headshots. Woo! I don't really remember her though. Mm. Oh, hi, a perfect timing. Sake. Sake. Big bottle. Your husband, I'm not sure if he loves you. Probably have a child. And you wonder if you're really up to the responsibility. I look at my wife and my daughter and I feel like I could just walk away. Have you liked it on this feeling? Ah! Are you focused? I'm focused. Is everything okay at home, or? Everything's great. I asked where my wife was. Of course you did! This is your crisis, your job, your schedule. Never about me! Who wants to never go to sleep again? I'm never by myself, yet I always feel alone. Falling in love is pretty easy. Being in love is a little more difficult. <laughs> well, I feel like a child, man. I've been acting like a boy. Choose to have self-control. You make that choice. I panic and I can't breathe. <sighs> and then I see things that are probably not even there. It's not him. It's not even her. It's you. Do you still love me? Yeah, you love me? <laughs> you just keep our heads down for a day or so, and then we can get the hell out of here. What, what are you doing here? Please, please don't hurt me. Give me your wallet. You alive? Get it out! So that, that, that's it! You don't have to kill me. I got no choice. What about if I told you? I can get you $40,000. Say that again. It's a trust fund that my mother set up. The bank will pay out in full if you become my fiance. Have this check for you to cash. Did a good job, Eddie. I hardly recognized her. I actually did it, and it was extraordinary. They believed everything that I was saying. I knew you could do it. You could almost be her. So what's she like, this chick, huh? Like you. You're losing her rod. How does that feel? She's my girl. Is that all you got, Andy? You can do better than you. You're never gonna get your money now! Well, you better make a choice right now. Hey, on me, Dale! Damn it, Ron! You having fun yet, Andy? I know who I am. You must think I'm a bad person. We've all done bad things when we're desperate. tourist missing for nine days from a remote Cambodian <laughs> holiday destination remains unaccounted for despite an extensive search. Hasn't been anything in the papers, has there? His passport's still there at the resort. <laughs> yeah, David, John Canaan from the FBA, just trying again. Not sure if you've got any of my messages, just hoping you can give me a call as soon as you're able. Everything OK? We're having a look at... Mr. King's business dealings prior to his trip away. If they know that there is drugs involved, they're going to drop the whole thing. If you don't tell her, I will. This is about the fact that you are keeping things from me. Calm down. Calm down. 
You get to go home to your kids. You know, obviously, that if it was going to turn out like this, we would have said something at the time. Of course. Who was that? What do you want? <laughs> My name's Cassandra Steely, and I'd like to show you my town full of cheer and want and kindness. Well, Derby. Ain't you become ever so handsome? What can I do you for? I'm waiting on a parcel. Here, we're surrounded by miles and miles Wayne Heard? of wheat and canola fields. They murdered the mailman. <gasps> Where's the mail? They kidnapped him. So? We got ourselves a video of a murder. Yes, sir. First murder this town has ever seen. Is it true about your murder video? So you're really getting all that money? How much? A lifetime sum. All I need is to see the mailman's dead body, and we are set. At lunch today with that postal inspector. I gotta find the body first. Body? Hey, what in hell are you up to here? Dwayne! You gotta be on point. Stick to the plan. I'm on to you. Of all the places you can point a camera, you point it at a money-making crime. You got a town full of concerned citizens and a puzzle of a case. I would appreciate if you told me where I can find my parcel. We gotta leave town tonight. There's a man on a rampage. He's coming after me. You know I'll take care of you. Me and Miss Cupbank will do whatever it takes. Meet the planes. I have been searching all over the world for you. You are going to be a force for good and a very important sorcerer. But for now, you're my apprentice. I'm a what? Are you insane? I'm gonna give you the basics. If a sorcerer is weak, his magic is weak. <laughs> Everything we do is to protect man. I'm not a hero. I'm just a physics nerd. So let's go train. Weapon of choice: the plasma bolt. I got one. And again. How'd you do that? I'm a sorcerer. Well, that's new. All that drivel about good versus evil. The world's about two things, power and control. Great men have always been called. This is your calling. No way. So we're supposed to save the world. Knuckle bump. Might as well. Dave, you should run. <laughs> so, guys. Uh 
Let me ask you something. What the heck is on my head right now? Bugsy. Why do you call him Bugsy? Because of his eyes. Those would be big on a cow. Skeeter. Sis. I'm getting laid off. I got a couple of interviews set up in Arizona. I need you to watch the kids. I'll do it. But you gotta say, Skeeter is the coolest, I am a nerd. Skeeter's the coolest, I'm a nerd? Yeah, you are. All right. Good night, you guys. Tell us the bedtime story. OK, here we go. Once upon a time, the greatest of all the heroes was Skeeter. <laughs> Then... It started raining gumballs. It started raining gumballs. That's weird. From Walt Disney Pictures. Last night I told my sister's kids a bedtime story and it came true. This is gold. Yeah. He may have found a way. I got a new story I want to lay on you. To solve his family's problems forever. How can I ever thank you? I'll take $100 million. But there's no telling. Then an angry dwarf kicks him. Ow! How the stories <laughs> are going to end. Where's the $100 million? So the kids control the stories. Every day Woo! is a new adventure. Don't you think we should get out of this rain? What rain? What do you mean? Somebody threw a fireball at Skeeto. You want me to catch on fire? Adam Sandler. You just gotta take some precautions. Flame resistant spray. Sir, that's for Christmas trees. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, come on now. It doesn't hurt that bad. Oh, you're right. That hurts. Bedtime stories. What am I doing with my life? I just want to connect. Why can't I connect with people? All oh, right, it's because I'm dead. I wish I could introduce myself, but I don't remember my name. I think it started with an R. But that's all I have left. It's kind of a bummer. I shouldn't be so hard on myself. I mean, we're all dead. This is my best friend. We even have almost conversations sometimes. They call these guys bonies. They'll eat anything with a heartbeat. I mean, I will too, but... At least I'm conflicted about it. Nice watch. much. Don't be creepy. Don't be creepy. What are you? This is a corpse infected with the plague. It is uncaring, unfeeling, incapable of remorse. I don't understand, but he's changing, and he feels, and he's learning to be human again. Oh my god, is that him? Yeah. Sup? He started something here. Whatever it is that you two have, it's infecting the others. Dad, they're somehow curing themselves. They are not curing themselves. <gasps> Come with me. Shoot on sight. If you haven't preached, keep me Changing everything. We're seeing corpses fighting skeletons, sir. How do we shoot? Shoot this! Hi. Huh? How'd you die? How old are you? Because you could be 20 something, but you could also be a teenager. You know, you have one of those faces. There were nine of us who escaped. 
number one, was killed in Malaysia. Number two was murdered in England. Number three was hunted down in Kenya. Before they come for the others, they'll come for me. I am number four. join the FBI, you join the front line between order and chaos. And in today's world, you know how easy it is to lose perspective. Identify these individuals and report back to me. You ever surf anything like this? I've surfed. Yeah, but you ever surfed anything like this? Welcome, brother. They call me Bodhi. Three crimes, three continents. I think they're connected. They're attempting something called the Ozaki 8, a series of eight ordeals that honor the forces of nature. So this is about enlightenment? Exactly. What are you doing here, Utah? Maybe I'm chasing the eight. A man who pushes his boundaries ultimately finds them. Come with us. Now you've been on the cover for what, two weeks? They're using the money from the crimes to follow Ozaki's teachings. We have to give more than we take. There's a few billion dollars up there. You're gonna steal it? No. We're gonna give it back. You've been on the cover too long. What just went down was a crime. People see what they wanna see. They think they're crusaders with a worthy cause. What side are you on? I need to get to Bodhi before the final ordeal. Otherwise, he's gone. Bodhi, stop! We're all gonna die. The only question is how. Mm -hmm.